this instance negative space is treated as positive form. Once the cross of the title is seen, one begins to perceive throughout the work a proliferation of others, varying in degrees of explicitness. Though Kandinsky, like Kazimir Molyevich, uses it as an abstract element, the cross is an evocative, symbolic form. The variations in direction of the resulting forms suggest the rotation of the entire canvas. Vasily Kandinsky's artworks are among the most influential of the abstract art genre. Kandinsky's abstract art mirrored the belief that things harmed images, thus he experimented with shapes and colors to elicit mysticism and human feeling. Kandinsky's paintings communicated their unique visual vocabulary that surpassed the material reality to depict the human condition. Vasily Kandinsky's portraits and famous circle artworks have made him one of modern art's most prominent characters. Hey guys, what is up, Rubik's Life here. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to solve the white cross and the white side a lot faster. Now, if you don't know, I've done several how to solve the Rubik's Cube videos in the past with a couple of them over 100,000 views, which is absolutely crazy. But, Doing the white cross is probably one of the uh, most time-consuming parts besides the F2L and maybe the corners if you're doing beginner's method. Today I'm going to give you guys a couple tips on how to get these four white pieces where they should go. So tip number one, most beginners always solve the white cross on the top. A lot of people have their pieces upside down like this and start making the daisy and then end up having to change them like this and make them the white cross, which definitely is way more time-consuming than just having the white white center on the bottom and then just going ahead and solving your white cross pieces there. Russian-born Vasily Kandinsky pioneered abstract art in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His unique perspective on the form and function of art emphasized the synthesis of the visual and the auditory. He heard sounds as color, and this unusual perception was a guiding force in the development of his artistic style. He believed the purpose of art to be the conveyance of the artist's unique inner vision, which required transcendence of the objective world. 